Welcome to leg 40 of the Great Loop aboard the Perch. I'm Kim Russo with America's Great Loop Cruisers Association. And today we're just taking a short cruise from Clayton to Wellesley Island. Still staying on the U.S. side of the Thousand Islands while we cruise the St. Lawrence River. And we were leaving Clayton. Unfortunately, we couldn't stay there for the full 4th of July weekend because they were already booked. So we are moving to another marina just across the river on the Wellesley Island side. And you can see that this is just absolutely stunning cruising ground. Lots of small islands. Uh, the bottom here, obviously, as you can see from those, is rocks. So you do want to be careful in your navigation and make sure you give yourself plenty of depth because running aground in these areas can result in a lot of damage. But as you can see, there are many houses just kind of sitting there on their own island. And we actually even talked to one looper couple who had been cruising this area extendedly last summer, waiting for the Canadian border open to open, and they eventually bought a house here um, because they just fell in love with the area. And you can see those houses each have a boathouse. Uh, the boathouses here just kind of look like garages on the water. I definitely need one of those somehow in my life. I don't know why we don't have a lot of those in South Carolina, but they are phenomenal. And as we worked our way towards the marina, we're going into the Thousand Islands Club at the recommendation of a local harbor host. You can see that we kind of get our first look there coming into the center of the picture now of Bolt Castle, which we'll be touring and including in our Great Loop lifestyle for the Thousand Islands. But the entrance to the Thousand Island Club is a little bit past where you're going to first see it and want to turn in. You can see you could get around those islands to the south there but there are some rocks. So thanks to the local knowledge, we went a little bit further north, went between those islands and arrived safely at the Thousand Island Club, where we would spend a few days, including the 4th of July. Fabulous restaurant on site here that we would highly recommend. But overall, our cruise for the day, just a little over an hour underway. We went under 10 miles, averaged 7.4 knots and a max speed of just under 10. So again, there's the look at our cruise through the American Narrows on the St. Lawrence River today. Again, stayed on the U.S. side and lots of sights to see here. So we'll cover all of that in our upcoming Great Loop Lifestyles about the Thousand Islands. We will also have our next cruise, which is also within the Thousand Islands, when we leave Wellesley Island, the Thousand Islands Club, and head to Kingston, New York, with a slight detour to see Singer Castle on Dark Island. So we'll be back with that soon. Thanks for watching.